How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm trying our caller, and it's time for week two of the ILL, the Indigo League of Legends. This week, we're facing off against Johnny Diesel and the coach of the uh, LA Nigo Kings. And uh, I don't think I've battled him before, so this is a new opponent whom I haven't faced before, obviously, but you know, we can know who our opponent is. I actually know a little bit of Johnny Diesel because I've watched that go Steve battle against him a few times. I've got an idea of what this battler in particular is all about. Uh, so this should be fun. For this battle, I'm bringing Choice Scarf Electivire, uh, Charizard X, Forges, Registeel, and Claygall and Sableye there. On my opponent's side here, Johnny is bringing Nigo Queen, Embor, Weavile, Ampharos. Well, technically it's a Mega Ampharos, but you get the idea. It's Ampharos and uh, Dragonite and Starmie. So, I'm um, going into this. I realize that my Choice Scarf Electrifier can handle a good portion of my opponent's team outside of outside of, I would probably say Ember. Uh, I don't have Earthquake on this Electrifier, so. And of course, we need to keep Charizard X alive, so we can do some really good damage to my opponent's team as well. We have uh, Barclay, the Clay Gall, to set up entry hazards. We have Sableye to taunt opposing Pokemon there as well. So we'll see how this goes. First time effort, let's do this. So he's going to start out with Neo Queen. I'm going to start out with Janarago, the Electivire. And I I have Ice Punch, but I didn't want to reveal it yet. Uh, so I go into Barclay here. I'm expecting Neo Queen to probably set up or outright attack. Now here he shows me Ice Beam after he goes for Stealth Fox. I actually misclick I click reflect instead of light screen, which sucks. Uh, I do take that ice beam okay, but like the misplay there, it might come in handy when we face against Embor here. I'm gonna get my stealth box so that we're even on that. And um, here he shows me, I need to get some information about Embor. We see a uh, flame charge. Here I go for a rapid spin to get those entry hazards away, so that way I can bring in Charizard and hopefully Mega Evolve and do some heavy damage to my opponent's team. However, we get rocked by a head smash. So he obviously, Johnny Diesel, the coach of the LA Legal Kings, knows that Charizard is coming in, so we don't get a chance to Mega Evolve this battle, which, which really sucks. If you think about it. So, yeah, that, that really sucks. I can go into Forges and uh, threaten him out with a Moon Blast. It is apparent that Nigo Queen is coming back in, but at the same time, let's, let's try lowering his special attack a few levels, but we do not get that. Uh, my Reflect wears off. I wanted to see if he's going to predict. Uh, Let's see, predict Claygall coming in. I, I, I knew he was going to probably do that, so I need to see if he's going to do that. And I'm like, okay, great. Now I can switch out, going to Registeel, expecting a Steel Cut move or another Ice Beam. He shows me Sludge Wave, so we get a free switch in. Now, uh, I knew he might have Earth Power, but this Registeel is so bulky. I go with Iron Head. And that just doesn't cut it. That guy barely did anything. That's kind of pathetic, actually. Uh, given the fact that my Registeel here has no attacking investment. So, that sucks. Um, now we're going to try hitting him on the special side here. With Sableye here. Sableye uh, has Shadow Ball. We can try hitting him on that side there. He actually switches in Embor on the Shadow Ball. And I get a critical hit, but it doesn't KO him. We do lower his special defense, but that's not going to matter too much. As he can just go with Flare Blitz and KO himself. In exchange for Sableye going down. So we get 
we we get a double down, which is great. Um, it's not like I needed it. I need uh, stabilize so I can taunt a few things, but we don't get a chance to do that, which is a little bit unfortunate. On that double down, we go into Electrifier Choice Scarf, so I need to lock myself into a move. And I opt to use Ice Punch, mainly because Mega Ampharos will Mega Evolve and turn into a Dragon type. So we go with an Ice Punch. I was correct on that Mega Evolution, but the Ice Punch just does a little bit over half, which is a little bit sad. I was a little bit sad to see that. Uh, this is a weird Electivire, so. And I think my opponent knows I'm Choice Scarf or Choice in some manner, so he switches out, goes into Misty, his Garmy, and um, I do have Electric type moves, but again, I'm Choice Scarf, so I can't go for it. I need to switch out. Now, I do manage to um, avoid a Hydro Pump, and I was going to, I was going to Thunder Wave the Starmie, but of course, Nigo Queen is still apparent. So I end up double switching, going back into Barclay, but we get abolished by a Hydro Pump here. I don't know if abolished is the right word for it, but we get, we get destroyed by a Hydro Pump. That's what I'll say here. And that really just, I was like, really? Because I was expecting you to switch out into Nigo Queen. Unfortunately, we cannot use Rapid Spin anymore because of Farclay going down, but, you know, that I can't really do because, well, all that misplaying there just comes to bite me in the butt. But it's okay, we go to the full switch with KO, uh, Starmie, and I go back into Registeel, and uh, he has Dragon Knight, which I'm happy that the multi scale is broken from the Stealth Box. So that way I can use Rock Slide and hopefully KO him. But we just, we just, we do negligible, uh, negligible damage. I'll say just damage that cannot really be dealt with because like that did no damage whatsoever. We get destroyed by an earthquake. So, um, I don't really have anyone faster than Dragonite at this point. I do have Forges. Uh, this is actually my bulkier Forges as opposed to the one that I used last week, but, um, I cannot take a plus one Earthquake. And all I have left is my Electivire, who is going to go down to the Stealth Ox. So, we lose this battle, but I learned a lot from my opponent. I knew what he was bringing, but it's more like the play style of what he was going to do with those Pokemon. And I, I get the idea now, because, um, you know, even though I lost, I learned a lot from him. So, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Uh, after looking at my team, after the loss, I noticed I need some changes. So, I'm going to probably change up my team for last week's battle, whom I faced off against Zai. Dino of, I think it's Dino's of Sinnoh, so I'll post that battle up next week. Look out for that, and I will see you guys in the next Wi-Fi, next Wi-Fi battle video. Alright, have a great day, trainers. Bye.